Thanks so much. The cold, wet winter may be to blame for a string of East Tennessee rock slides, but it's trapped residents in one community between an actual rock and a hard place. Coming up here, how they are dealing with all the detours and how long it will take before the roads are finally back open. And lawmakers passed a controversial bill in that wreck. An unusually high number of rock slides in our area continue to close roads and detour traffic. Well, TDOT expects to come up with a design plan to repair this rock slide on Highway 129 that happened last weekend on the route called the Dragon. Weather has delayed repairs on a rock slide on Interstate 40 just across the North Carolina line. And rock slides in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park have detoured and slowed traveling tourists. 10 News reporter Emily Stroud shows us the double-sided impact of the rock slide detours on one East Tennessee county. Emily? Well, John and Robin, a rock slide has closed Highway 64 in, from a, in Polk County since November. Now Highway 129 is closed as well. Monroe County is in the middle, and the detour for both of those is Highway 68. Since Highway 68 became a detour, Molly Gray gives more people directions at the Cocoa Creek Welcome Center and Heritage Gift Shop. Across to Etowah, and you can go south on 411. And she sells more local crafts. Well, for our business, it's been better, but it is dangerous on the road. William Wells agrees. As president of the Monroe County Chamber of Commerce, he sees an uptick in the overall economy from more traffic volume, but he's also a volunteer firefighter. We did work a fatality on Friday, uh, which had 68 blocks for, you know, four or five hours. So the, the accidents are bigger now uh, than just the occasional person going off the road. The road itself is showing wear, especially along the edges. As people are coming around corners and they see potholes, they want to avoid those so they wind up in the oncoming traffic lanes. The scenic route is windy and narrow. Not ideal for the 18-wheelers now using it. Not ideal for drivers in a hurry. There's a frustration level associated with uh, their driving. They've just learned that they have a two and a half hour detour. His advice for local drivers? We just kind of remember that they don't want to be on the roads either. And uh, if, if we can just show a little patience and slow down a little bit, uh, that'll help until everything opens back up. Highway 64 is set to open in about a month, April 16th. TDOT hopes to approve a contract soon to repair the rock slide on the Dragon, but fixing it could take months. John and Robin, definitely causing a few headaches. <laughs>